Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Wee Prince Pedal. I am here in my nursery, my dolly room. It uh, needs work. It's very messy, but today isn't about that. <laughs> it's about my bottle collection behind me. Oh, here's some of the babies. Um, I mentioned the last video, there's a light friendly. This is one of those old-fashioned lights that turn themselves off if they get too hot. A halogen light from like the 90s. Yeah, it's pretty old. Um, I was talking about last video about the shoe racks that I use to put some of the babies on. And it, it works out really well. Today's video, I'll turn you around, is about my bubbles. So right here are, um, still in the box, some Playtex vintage um, bottles from the 90s. They're decorative bottles. So I have those in there. I haven't touched them. I still have some Baby Lives that I didn't open yet. Oh, and there goes that light. They're so cute. I have all my Baby Lives. Um, here's a book, a beautiful book about Sleeping Beauties. Reminds me of Ann Geddes. I used to love her. Now these are my vintage, um, actually, can I change the angle of this camera? Yeah, it's dark though. <laughs> it's dark. Do I have to wait for this light to be on? <laughs> we have to wait. But the purpose of today's video is to talk about my fake milk. So yeah, I'm using the other camera lens. So it's a little distorted. Oh, there's the light. Yay. Okay, so these are my vintage Playtex from the late 90s, early 2000s. This one has the original like latex nipple on there. These are the newer Playtex, mostly. And I do have one. Oh, <laughs> this camera. This camera angle lens is like different. Um, this is a mini bottle for my mini babies. I do own a couple of Arnold's babies. I think, I think that's their name. Um, mini silicones. I can have a link to those babies. This is one of my mason jars. And if this is a bottle that, this is a glass bottle too. Um, born free. These are all my glass and another mason jar bottle there. These are um, some good starch, like the baby, the infant, the newborn hospital <laughs> glass bottles this is actually using an even ebb and flow uh, nipple that comes in the box and these are the good start brand but they all fit but yeah these are all my glass bottles i have a blood bottle in there because i do collect alternative babies as well this is a glass dr brown this is Right there. So cool. This one. But anyways. Today's video. I'll just quickly show you my collection. But I do want to talk about. The fake milk. This Playtex one. Does not fit. Um, here. Don't want. They're, like this thing is. Filled with. These. And it goes all the way back. Um, these are just a uh, dollar store. And I want to talk about this fake formula. This is a new one unopened. I just want to use it for color reference. The formula. Which I do have a video on me making fake formula as close as possible to this color. I'll link it. These are um, various wide neck bottles. 
I have. Oh, except for this one. This is a preemie hospital kind. Um, this is used for tint. It's an expired BB cream. And besides, it's not my shade either. So, oh, and there goes the light. <clears throat> I have more on this shelf. Oh, I wish you could see. Various ones I got from CookieKids.com, like the Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, and there's some more down there. So, oh, and here I have some of these. Here. Okay, this what I want. Okay, I'll go back to normal. Okay, and I also put you on a tripod. Um, this is one of my bottles and the reason why i'm doing this video today is because um i recently received a, a comment um on my do self milk mentioning that fabric softener is like the easiest and the best to use um She's not the only one to comment that recently. I've received many comments about using fabric softener. And this is using fabric softener. But over time, where I live especially, it turns into... <laughs> like a slime. It's like totally hardened. Can you see? It's like a thick, thick, and it curdled. Now I wouldn't say it went bad, and I feel. Um, but see that it's like. It feels like, I don't even know what it feels like. Like. I can't see. A body lotion cause, or a shea butter because it's even thicker than that. But this did not go bad. And I had a lot of friends say that over time their fabric softener also went like this. And they threw the bottles out. Like, no, <laughs> you don't have to do that. In fact, sorry about the light. In fact, you can still use, like, if you really were desperate for fabric softener, this will dilute in water. And if, I have washed these out, and they do wash out really easy. Good thing is, is that they don't mold up or nothing like that. In fact, it still smells like fabric softener. Okay. I'll be back. I'm going to wash my hands and hopefully that light will be back on. But yeah, look at that. It's not yucky. Okay, I'm back and I wash my hands. Now, this is a bottle that I never touched in a long, long time. This has lotion, water, and either food coloring or vanilla extract. But if I add anything with lotion and water it will separate like this so this is what it looks like and it does not mold up either i heard i never tried flower water but i heard that can mold so all i do is shake it and it's perfectly back fine there's no like residue on the bottle in fact that actually does look like milk and this is a non used to whole nipple which um i've done videos about before but that's what the top the top kind of does cloud up a bit but they're so easy to wash you don't have to throw out any bottles you just wash them um, this one here is another downy. See how it looks like spongy? Yeah, this one's using a no whole nipple too, but 
that's what happens. It doesn't go bad or nothing. Um, if I was desperate for fabric softener, and by the way, um, people where I live, I live in northern Canada, and fabric softener is extremely expensive for me. Um, like a typical normal size, not small, not too large, but normal size would cost me like twelve and nine at least. And that was years ago. I don't buy it. But if I did and used it, that's what it would end up looking like. Why do I feel out of breath? Okay, this is plain. This is one of my longest ever lotion or water. Oops. This is plain lotion and plain water. And this has been in here for years. And sorry, I look away. Years and years and years. And it still looks like fake milk. Now, this is where I live. Um, Northern Canada, the climate is uh, average humidity, not overly humid and not overly dry. In the winters, we can get dry, but not overly. We don't need a humidifier where I live, although I shouldn't say that because I remember living in the airport and my house did have a humidifier. But this particular house that I live in does not need a humidifier. Um, so yeah, what I'm saying for me personally, and here's another one with lotion and water for years. Oh, this, I made this for, um, Jamie years ago from 2015 now the thing with these is that it will cloud up the nipple part and this see this is back in the day when i used to seal them with a white silicone and now i use a clear silicone and i have videos on how i make this so um, thank you so much for your input, for the people who do, um, who do talk to me about using different things. This, I emptied out, this, I tried to make this look like formula, and it still does, like this color. Um, let's see what's behind here. Well, see, here's another... This one, these are old too. These are from when I also had Jamie like 2015. But that's what happens to my downy or fabric softener. I will have a link to my mason jar tutorial. I do have videos of me um, doing the similar kind of thing here where I compare uh, fabric softener to lotion and water for me personally living up north i can buy lotion from the dollar store for like so cheap oh and that reminds me i wanted to show you um this i have a few bottles on here too i want to show you my uh, precious moments bottles that i have and that is some lotion I used to sell Avon before I was in the hobby, so I have a ton of this product. And there's a light. <laughs> and I also I also collect these um, sippy cups. And there's some more mason jars I got from the dollar store. And this is a mason jar that we had jam in it from a friend of ours and this is a Sensi tin it's from the company Sensi and they sell um like scented waxes uh diffusers uh they're called like scented pouches that you stuff inside like teddy bears this one here is a travel tin and it's in the newborn nursery smell and it smells exactly 
like baby powder. I love this stuff. I also have a room spray. So, um, these are things I make. This is the very, very first one I made, and I didn't do a good job. See how I didn't know how to tie the ends on properly? This is from Christmas. I don't know why it's still there. These are some other things I made. I mean, that one. I love this. Do you remember these? Here's some of the babies in my Moses basket cradle. And yeah, see how messy my room is? This is Rebecca. I need to. She has the most beautiful, softest hair. Um, so I was going to comb, gently comb that. I just never got around to it. So Rebecca Jordan, she, I forget, Natalie Blick Sculpt, uh, the Emily, ML, em Emily, I forget. <laughs> but yeah, look at this big mess I'm going through. Um, I'm going to put these somewhere. This, I was so happy to find this. I just love the smell, guys. The smell. Um, these, this cute guy I got from Timu, because I never owned a fox one, and this is one that I made. I, made, I showed this in the last video. There's my Keaton Blaine. He's yellow sculpt, and he's a custom baby to resemble Eric. This is a big huddled mess that I. <laughs> That I have as a lava, lava, wait, lava Bella baby. I own two of those. Um, it's my messy desk. What was I going to show you? <laughs> oh my goodness. There was a reason. Oh, this stuff is also made by Sensi and Newborn Nursery. This is a room spray. I love it. And when I sold Avon, that is sweet honesty. And that smells a lot like baby powder as well. It's my favorite scent from Avon. This is just some storage for some beans that I bought and some wafers from McPherson's or McPherson's. And in the winter time it can get really cold in here, so that's a heater. Those are some more mason jars that I have that I'm not sure where else to put. Just, just kind of put in here. <laughs> Here's Zena. She is my, oh, what sculpt is she? A Laura sculpt. Uh, she was reborn by Lucy Zhao. And same with Carly. Carly is here. She is the Gabriella sculpt. Also reborn by... Lucy Gerald, and she is with her, one of her favorite dolls. I have some more babies back there. It's a big mess. Yeah. Big mess, guys. Big mess. And in here, big mess. Here's my Etienne Soleil. He's my the, um, Blue Bell by Cassie Brace, reborn by Lacey Molson. And this one is um, Elodie, and she, Elodie Monet. I forget what's good. The Laura Ballerina by Ashton Drake. She's, she's kind of hiding under there. But anyways, 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 these are, yeah. So before this light goes out again, I hope that you guys are having a great day. Here's my tripod that I use for my videos. <laughs> Here's my bottle collection again. Oh, look at this puppet. I bought this for myself in like in the 90s. And it's one of those puppets that you control by... Like by... You can see that. I'm trying to... 
to control like one of these kind of puppets on the string. This is your string on here. And so you can make him dance. My sons used to love this guy. Let's see. I used to love this guy. You know my Let's see. Your hands is coming through, coming through, coming through. Yeah. So anyways guys, have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. And yes, where I live in northern Canada is best for me to just use lotion and water that works for me. Whatever works for you guys is what you do. So those are just what happens for me. So yes guys, hopefully you're having a great day and until next time. Bye guys. Bye. Bye guys. Bye.